Excuse me, Mrs. Hudson. This has to what be private. What are you doing private. to her? I am not doing anything to her. She's under arrest. Now, we're going to take her statement, and you and your husband will have to wait outside. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stay right I, here. I'm sorry, but talk I can't allow... You're not listening to me. I said that I was going to stay here and talk with my sister. Courtney, Zach, uh, may I speak to you both outside just for a minute, please? Sure. You shouldn't have come down here. Cole, we're going to get you the best lawyer. I'm going to go to New York personally and see someone. No, Donna, please. You know please, that money is no object. Listen. We're going to get, get you the best offense. We're going to Donna, get you. I killed him. That's ridiculous. Listen to me. I did it. No, don't say that. Don't say that. Well, it's true. He kept threatening Cass. And he talked about how he was the one who let Mama die. Maybe even started the fire. And it happened. So you shot him? Yes. You didn't mean to do it. No. He started waving the gun around. And I grabbed it to yank it away from him. And it went off. So you're innocent. No, Donna. I'm guilty. I killed him. Accidental or not, I killed him. I don't understand. Why didn't you tell me? You wouldn't have had to tell other people, but you could have trusted me. I tried. I tried to tell Cass, too. I, I just couldn't. Michael and I could have helped you. Oh, I know. I know I even knew that then, but I kept delaying and delaying. And finally, there was no way out. I, I just kept the lie going, and, and it became harder and harder to admit. I'm so sorry. I'm just... Oh, Don, I'm so sorry. We're going to work this out. We're going to work it out, Nicole. No, I've lost Cass. You just should have trusted us. All my friends. My family and Felicia. What she's been through because of me. Everyone hates me. Oh, they don't hate you. That's not true. Well, I hate me. Oh, Nicole, no. No. I wish there's something I could have done. Something, something I could say. Oh, God. Madonna, tell me that you still love me. I love you. I'll always love you. Oh, I love you, too. <laughs> there is a problem, though. I, I really don't know how strong I am, and, and I've got to get this done. This confession. Yes. I'm really glad you came. Do it now. I've got to do it alone. Thank you, Courtney. You're welcome. Take me home. Thanks, sir. Yeah. I advise you of your rights when I arrested you, right? Yes, you did. For the record, we need to get it on videotape. Okay? Fine. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. I'm ready. You have the right to remain silent. Remember? No. <laughs> After you saved me in the alley. Oh, yeah. Hey, do you remember 
what you said to me? Nope. You said, I don't have any white wine. Hey, you're smiling. I don't remember the last time I saw you smile. Really? Not what you this think, is man. my place. Derek. My place. Second, take it easy. Take it easy, Derek. Derek, you're gonna tell him. Take it easy. Winthrop and Edwards. What? I'll, I have no comment on that. Were Nicole Love and Cass Winthrop ever engaged to be married? I really... I don't even know who Nicole Love is. but I guess you weren't listening. I'm not in the mood for a visit, Frankie. Ooh, Winthrop, it looks like you drink the good stuff. Me, I always buy the no-brand kind. You know, the bottle always says scotch in big black letters on a plain white label. Not exactly 12-year-old, but he gets the job done. What do you want, Frankie? How about a drink? There's a bar down the street. Well, yeah, but uh, I like to have somebody to talk to. I want to be alone. Now, that's funny. You don't look like Greta Garbo. Garbo. What? Garbo. Her name is Greta Garbo, not Garbo. Whatever. So, uh, may the wind always be to your back. Or something like that. So, uh, what now? Now you've had your drink. Go home. Hey, what about a game of pinball? Hmm? What the hell? Why not? Cost anything? Mm-hmm. No freebies here. It costs a quarter. Well, why don't you make it so it's free? We well, see, at least this way, the office is guaranteed of making some money. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, you're pretty good. Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> this is that bad, huh? No, actually, I just use it as a way to relax when I'm... Writing a brief or something, I, uh, you know, I get up, take a break, play a little pinball. It keeps my mind from turning jelly. Yeah, well, maybe we'll have a contest sometime. Yeah? You play, huh? Does George Bush wear glasses? Pinball wizard. Well, people who bet against me are usually sorry. But you're not too shabby. <laughs> Great idea putting one of these in here. It wasn't my idea. This wasn't. Actually, uh, it's a gift from Nicole. Jamie? Yeah. I thought I saw you leaving a while ago. You did. You have a patient who's having trouble? No, I'm covering for Dr. Winters. The resident? Yeah. You're covering for a first-year resident? 
Yeah, well, you know, he's been on call for 36 hours. I thought I needed a break. Jamie, that means you've been on duty since dawn. I know. That's when I went off duty and now I'm back. So that means you've been working all day. Yeah, well, off and on. Nielsen, do you have a file for Mrs. Uh, Nielsen? Oh, yeah, sure. You know, she sure doesn't look like she's only five months, does no, she? No, she's gained too much weight. Do you know what the results are of the, the, uh, the GTT? Yeah, right here. Oh. oh, that reminds me. Look, I'm doing the Lamaze class starting next week. I was wondering if you and Vicky could be there for the first session. What? Well, you two work so well together, I thought I could use you as a model couple. Model couple? <laughs> Well, it'd be nice for the class to be able to talk to you and maybe see Stephen if you want to bring him in. Yeah, right. Well, uh... And then the baby just happened to be born at home. Maybe you could talk about how you coached Jake through the delivery. That might be kind of tough, Ronnie. I'm sorry. Oh, well. Just thought I'd ask. Well, you must be exhausted after all the hours you've been putting in lately. I'll be okay. Well, yeah, but you got to think about your marriage, too. And not to mention the new baby you have at home. You don't want to miss out on these things. These are the best days of your life. Ooh, excuse me. 106 been having a lot of problems. gone all right. Well, he did come, didn't he? I mean, then you did have a chance to talk. The whole evening was a waste. What happened to you? Nothing. That's the problem. Sometimes I think I was just born to be alone. Come on, Victoria. Well, don't say that. Why not? I get what I want, and then I lose it. But you have to understand, you see, you've got to give Jamie more time. Time? That's the one thing I can't give him, Bridget. What, what do you mean, dear? The more time he has away from me, the easier it becomes for him. I've got to find a way to bring him back home. Oh, Victoria, no more of your tricks. I don't always trick people, Bridget. Well, that's what you did tonight, dear. Hmm. That was just round one. And pray tell what's round two. Rachel wanted to have lunch with me. She did? Or you did? I'm her daughter-in-law. Of course she would want to. Now, Jamie would have to be here because he hasn't told his family yet. Victoria, you just have to learn to let things take their natural course, dear. And wait for my marriage to go down the tubes? Oh, Victoria. Now, Jamie is living out of his car. He's miserable. And I just have to keep reminding him that he has a baby and a beautiful home and a wife who loves him. And we're just waiting here for him. Victoria. I have to make him know what he's missing every minute of the day. Now, that's fine. And by the time he finds out that Stephen is his son, he'll just be dying to come home. And what happens if Stephen is Jake's baby? I'm not thinking about that. I thought you were the one always telling me to keep hoping. I do, dear. But you've got to stop trying to fool yourself. What do you mean? My dear, it is very possible that Jamie might not want to come back, even if Stephen is his son. Oh, you're just encouragement today, aren't you? Well, don't you know how deeply he's been hurt, my dear? And how very angry he is. Tell me about it. I do... Oh, my God. What is it? I could face a custody battle no matter who the father is.